PBS Digital Studios is about two years old and we've had a ton of amazing success. So 75 million streams, we're up to a slate of 30, more than 30 shows. Uh, just broke the million subscriber threshold. So we've got a bunch of amazing momentum and we sort of wanted to make some noise here and let people know how successful we've been and use this as an opportunity to uh, sort of engage with brands in a conversation about how we can grow our successes so far in this kind of public-private partnership that we've been doing for years through broadcast. So we want to exp uh, expand our work. We think that partnering with brands is going to help us do that. We think that we can do that in an authentic way. Um, it's going to require a lot of conversation and strategic work with probably a select number of brands um, to figure out exactly how that's manifest. Um, but we have great content. We're reaching a really interesting audience. Uh, very young and engaged, uh, passionate digital audiences around our content. Uh, so, you know, I think we got that message out yesterday and we got a lot of great reception. I think a lot of interest in, in how people can, brands can, um, you know, take part in this. YouTube has been a fantastic partner. It's allowed us to reach a lot of uh, you know, amazing audiences and, and reach younger audiences that are really hard to reach in other ways. Um, we think about the content, that's really our focus. Digital Studios is laser focused on doing this one thing really well, and that's making fantastic short form video, you know, digital content. It's tuned for these online audiences, and it's crafted with PBS quality, right? So we think that YouTube is a great place. We know that YouTube is a great place for it right now. We know that there are opportunities to build more audiences on PBS.org around this content as our pipeline expands and the audience grows. I think that the opportunity for a brand to work with us is going to be in some ways a bit platform agnostic. I mean, that's really, you know, I think the approach that's working for us is putting great content on the platforms where people are, are consuming it. Um, in the you know with the right format so that it's digestible and appropriate for their user experience. Um, so that means uh, we're going to be you know we're going to be on YouTube. We're going to be on Vimeo. We're going to be on uh, Apple TV and Roku and Xbox. Uh, all with the PBS quality uh, and and making sure we get it right on those platforms. Uh, and I think it's in this sort of wild west of online video where people, you know, brand, brands and startup companies are generating tons and tons of new content. We have a really trusted brand um, that that uh, brands can can sort of hitch a ride along with. Uh, and know that, that the user is going to have a great experience when they're watching our content. And I think there's, there's sort of a halo effect there. Um, it's, you know, people will, you know, the audience will benefit from, from more content, will benefit from being able to do more content, reach more, more audiences, and the, and the brands will benefit from you know, coming along for the ride. It's a really interesting area, and that's where a lot of the work uh, is going to be for us over the next couple of years, is how we bring these different content strands together, how, where the audience intersections are, where the content intersections are. So we know that programming for the web is a very different beast than programming for broadcast, but the PBS values translate really nicely from broadcast into the web. So I think you know, we've done some experiments where we've taken web content that uh, we think will broadcast well and, and we put it on broadcast. Is, uh, so short form uh, show that we have called Blank on Blank, which is these you know, beautifully crafted uh, animations. We put that on after Masterpiece on Sunday night. It worked great, it was beautiful. Small experiment, uh, but it's, you know, the tip of the iceberg for the kinds of things that we can do. You know, we're building relationships on digital the same way we've been building relationships uh, you know, through broadcast. Uh, so once we get those relationships in place and we've got strong, strong brands and, and uh, you know, strong content, then you know, porting the audiences will be a, you know, it's a natural next step. We have a slate of more than 30 shows at this point, and we produce them with independent producers around the country and PBS member stations. So almost half of, the, of those shows are actually produced by PBS member stations. 
they are a wide variety of shows that cover a lot of the traditional PBS uh, topic areas, so science, arts, culture, uh, history. Uh, so, uh, but you know, a lot of them are done in very different ways and very you know innovative formats. Uh, we're really excited to announce that we're moving into our first scripted show. So working with Pemberley Digital and director Bernie Sue, who created this wildly successful and completely awesome uh, Lizzie Bennet Diaries, which is an adaptation of Pride and Prejudice. They're going to be adapting uh, Frankenstein, uh, Mary Shelley's classic novel, uh, for the sort of vloggy YouTube multi-platform, uh, giving it that treatment that they did with uh, with Pride and Prejudice, and it's going to be, you know, super cool, really smart, uh, you know, really innovative. Uh, so that's a, a, a big step for us to move into that direction, uh, but we're really excited about it. We've got a couple other shows. We've got, uh, we just announced uh, the reboot of Pancake Mountain, which was a kind of cult, uh, cult hit with hipster parents and their kids uh, for the past decade or more. Um, we're bringing that back. It's a musical, musical variety show uh, with puppets and big time acts, uh, comedians. It's a you know, silly, wild show. I think that it's a great, great fit for PBS Digital Studios and, and our YouTube audiences that like sort of, you know, wild novel, um, you know, fun, fun shows like that. And uh, we just launched two new shows with our partners here in Magnet Media uh, in New York called Magnet Media. Um, one is Bongo Bongo, which is an etymology show. So they're talking about how words have evolved through time and the modern meaning of, of uh, words that we sort of take for granted. And uh, Food Buzz, which is a uh, look at you know, food culture, uh, sort of up to the minute, you know, getting the facts straight about uh, all the different sort of, uh, you know, buzzy, you know, uh, food headlines. So wide variety shows. Um, we of course have, you know, from our uh, from our beginnings, uh, we've got shows like PBS Idea Channel, which is uh, PBS's take on the vlog format. One of the, you know, our first attempts at that. Wildly successful, 500,000 subscribers at this point, growing fast. Uh, Mike Rignetta, the host, is uh, developing his own little fandom. Uh, incredible audience interaction, thousands of comments on every on every episode, talking about art and culture, and uh, internet culture and philosophy, and the audience for it. It's incredible. You've got these really young, passionate teenagers who are weighing in on things like uh, you know, My Little Pony and uh, Hello Kitty. And then at the other, other end of the spectrum, you've got, you know, a really, we've got a really strong audience of 40 and 50 year olds who are weighing in on the philosophy behind these things and uh, are fascinated by sort of internet culture. So it's, it's, you know, it's really exciting and very, it's you know, sort of surprising at first when you see it, but when you kind of understand the audience and the quality of the, the interactions they're having, it's actually very PBS. We just want to keep growing. Uh, we think we can reach a lot more people. Uh, we're really excited about hopefully finding some brands that, that we can align with, additional partners, production partners that we can align with, distribution partners we can align with. We've got great content. We know what content works with our brand. We know that the brand really resonates with viewers online. So we've got sort of a, a, a niche and an angle and a lot of momentum. And I think that with, you know, with, a, with some, some new strategic partners to help us grow, we're just going to do more amazing content, reach more audiences. Uh, and you know, I think that we're you know, on a, on a, on a uh, sort of trajectory to become you know, uh, sort of a household name, which is you know, really what we're, where we're headed.